Let's go to Johannesburg in South Africa. Indeed, waiting for us there is Wilf Mbanga. Wilf is the founder, editor, and publisher, indeed, of the Zimbabwe. And Wilf, it's always good to have you on the program. Just tell us about the situation in Zimbabwe after this report from the United Nations. How difficult is it for people? The numbers say one thing, but tell us some stories. Well, the problem we have in Zimbabwe is that um, the little food that's trickling in um, is being distributed by government on a partisan basis. They make sure that we now have video evidence of ZANU-PF officials telling people that they could only access food, uh, food aid, if they produced a ZANU-PF card. That is exacerbating a serious problem. We have over 5.5 million people who are starving. And to then deny them food because they are not members of the ruling party is diabolical. I was going to come on to potential corruption inside the government a little bit later, Wilf, but you've already addressed the issue. Um, first of all, before we talk about Emerson Manangagwa uh, taking over from Robert Mugabe, and you're already indicating that nothing much has changed in that transition, what about the state of agriculture? What about the condition of the land? What about farming systems, people who used to provide the country with food? What's the situation overall in terms of those aspects? Well, um, you recall in 2000, uh, many white farmers were dispossessed of their lands. And in their place, um, the government resettled, um, you know, people who are well connected to the ruling ZANU-PF, award veterans and some people from communal lands. But to this day, the land, most of the land is lying idle while we are starving. Yes, there was a drought last year. Yes. There were serious problems um, of um, seeds and all that. But the major problem is that the land was given to people who don't know how to use it, or to people, civil servants, who haven't got the time to go and actually farm. So we have a lot of land which is lying idle. Okay. And that is what, one of the what about the poverty that the UN Special Rapporteur talks about? What has made people so poor, obviously hyperinflation means that if you're of a certain level of income, you can't actually afford to buy the things you need because of the hyperinflation. But what about overall poverty? What is causing it? Well, um, we have uh, serious, um, well, there's hyperinflation, uh, there is um, serious corruption, which has dist virtually destroyed our economy. And um, we have, for example, only last week, government went to parliament to seek condonation for the misspent 10 billion US dollars, which was unbudgeted for. And they can't explain where it went. It obviously went into the pockets of the well-connected people. And you can imagine what could have happened if that 10 billion dollars had been spent rejuvenating the economy or in the pockets of most people. So that is our problem, that the, 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 there is the serious corruption, there is serious mismanagement of the economy, and, um, of course, this partisan distribution of food doesn't help. Yeah, OK, so let's pick up on that point. Uh, Emerson Manangago, you indicate maybe using food, although you insist that he is already doing it, uh, using food as a political tool. So at what point does he become the same as Robert Mugabe in terms of forcing people to come onto the streets and objecting and protesting against the way he is handling the country. How does he not understand that having taken over from Robert Mugabe, he had to be different to Mugabe, and yet you're indicating that he's pretty much the same? Well, he's been talking, you know, I mean, you know, making a lot of sense, talking about, uh, you know, a second uh, republic which is different from Mugabe's, but he has done nothing to deviate from Mugabe's policies. In fact, some people will say that he's actually even worse than Mugabe. Um, you will recall, when he first came in, he talked about wanting to reform uh, the, the, the economy, um, the, the politics, um, and so on, which are very toxic. But nothing has happened. No laws have been changed. All the repressive laws that were brought in by Mugabe are still there. Um, you, you will recall only recently number of people were beaten up. Um, we're trying to hear what the NDC leader uh, was uh, talking to the nation about. 
They gathered outside these offices, and the police went in there with shambox and buttons and beat up a lot of people. Well, for Zimbabwe's only hope now, more external assistance, and where might that come from? Well, our biggest um, donor funders are the, the Americans and the Brits and the European Union, uh, despite the fact that um, there are these targeted measures against a number of people. Uh, China has also helped in some way. Um, but um, we are totally dependent now on food aid. For a country that was an exp a net exporter of food, if this is tragic, Wilf, thank you so much indeed. It's been a pleasure to hear your analysis about the situation that's happening in your homeland. Wilf Mbanga speaking to us from Johannesburg.